shit, this was a mistake. Go, 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 go. Oh, no! R.I.P. I, I should have gone lethal. Love to all and welcome, everybody. My name is Black Hollow and this is LSPDFR. Today's patrol, we are out in the La Mesa area, a place that I don't think I have ever taken a beat before. So we are definitely going to try to stick around this area out here today. If you notice, I'm actually back in the Redmond pack, uh, but I have, uh, and I realized this when I fired the game up, I attempted to install these black skins uh, with the thin blue line uh, textures and stuff like that that I had um, in the blue build, but... Uh, it's only able to be applied to this specific charger, the FPIU and the 2015 charger, I believe, is the other vehicle in this pack. Uh, it just would not go on there, unfortunately, so I I'm gonna have to do some editing, but I really like the look of this. So I decided not to, you know, exit the game and swap it out and, you know, make it the, uh, the normal Redmond texture. But either way, we are out here and, uh, we're gonna be taking some calls, doing some traffic. I'm gonna be turning my vehicle torque down so that my wheels don't spin. It is a rainy, shitty evening but hopefully we can make this an enjoyable patrol. Either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's patrol out here in La Mesa. Attention all units, assistance needed in El Barrel Heights. Dispatch 119, I'll be responding to that. Uh, let's just get around this truck, you guys. It looks like we're being asked to serve an arrest warrant. Warrant has been issued for uh, Chris Canson on Fudge Lane, I believe is what it was. Uh, we'll find out in just a second here as we uh, as we approach the uh, the the residence. Let me just flip on my lights and get through this intersection because I don't want to wait on those cars. There's a chance that this guy may be trying to run, uh, and maybe that might be why this situation is a little bit more urgent. Uh, let me see here. It looks like it's going to be this individual right up here in the white T-shirt. I'm going to flip around right here. And we're not even going to turn our lights on or anything like that because I don't want and I don't even need my carbine out. I don't know why I have it out. Can I get it away? <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, I didn't need to step it up that much. Okay, let's see here. This is the individual. Sir, go ahead and keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, does Chris Canson live here? Yes, I'm Chris. How can I help? Uh, well, I'm Officer 119 with the LSPD and I'm here because there is a warrant for your arrest. I have a warrant? What for? Uh, well, I... Uh, the warrant is for Grand Theft Auto. Sir, don't run and make it worse on yourself. Stop running. Stop running. Get your hands up. I don't want to have to tase you again in the rain. Especially if you're lying down in a puddle and I'm standing in that puddle. Please, lay down, sir. Nice and easy. Okay, he's going to be complying. There we go. We're going to get him in just fine. Dispatch, uh, I have one in custody. We're going to be code for no further units required. Chris Canson's warrant has been served and he is... In handcuffs right now. Let's go ahead and get him brought back down here, you guys, and check out what's going on with him. I had um, the uh, the arrest warrant uh, not all that long ago. Um, it was in, I think it was my, it was my gang unit patrol, uh, maybe like two episodes ago or something like that. And the same thing happened. Like, I went up and I spoke with the individual. They found nothing of interest, by the way. I spoke with the individual um, and, uh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, let's get back up. I think I fat fingered it. Um, I spoke with him and he just took off running. So I'm not entirely sure if there is another outcome for this where they shoot you or what. I don't know. Like, I, I did. there's got to be some other stuff. Hopefully there is because I would like to execute more of these um, arrest warrants in the future. I like the idea behind them. I also like the idea behind possibly having a plug. Oh, okay. He was drunk. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. But for prisoner transport, it matters a little bit. I want to make sure that they know exactly what is going on with this gentleman. And it looks like he is negative for both those impairing substances. Let's just run his ID to make sure that he is indeed the person that we are searching for with the warrant. And it looks like, yes, his license is suspended and he is wanted. So PT is going to be showing up pretty soon here. And there they are. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the charger and the, uh, and the FPIU um, that the... Uh, the what's it? The, uh, the skins don't work on. Oh, and it looks like we got shoplifting. I'll go ahead and respond to that back to back. Why not? It was a pretty simple arrest warrant. He, I mean, he tried to run on me, but he didn't really do it. And we're going to hit up Marietta Heights on the way back to, uh, La Mesa anyway. It's not, uh, not too far of a detour, I would say. And this place gets ransacked a lot with robberies and shoplifting, all kinds of things. Let's get their code too. Uh, not necessarily a priority response, but I I don't want an altercation to break out. It's kind of weird when you've got somebody that, you know, has just stolen and security's there and they're trying to hold them and th there's the possibility of assault. It looks like they are actually running 
And they're going to be running in the middle of the roadway. Uh, looks like they're going to be continuing. Oh, okay. All righty. We're going to stop our vehicle right here and block them from going any farther up the hill. Sir, stop running. Get down on the ground right now. On the ground. All righty. It looks like the security guard went lethal. And I went with non-lethal, which is non-legit as fuck. But either way, we have got him in custody. Dispatch, we're going to be code for. I have Aaron Miston in custody. Let me see what Aaron's... Uh, record comes back as because uh, I mean I don't know why you would have ran like he he probably didn't realize that I was on my way god that car looks so good I love those cars in the Redmond pack license is valid with no active warrants what I really like about it is the light bar and the flash patterns those are some of my favorites but um super simple super simple but still just gets the job done license valid no active warrants let's do the breathalyzer and the drugalyzer on him just as usual because we need to find out what kind of mental state this dude is in and I think I might actually take him back myself to the uh, to the jail I think that that'll be a little bit better breathalyzer is coming back as a negative let's go ahead and stand him up you guys and I think we're gonna role play uh, that I'm gonna drug -alize him back at the station I think I'll take this guy in myself we have to go talk to the shopkeep uh, so let's get this guy in the car and we can pull the car over, I think, to the other side. Yeah, let's... Oh, God, it did the thing where it put me in the car. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Like, sometimes it, it it's very inconsistent. It's really interesting. And uh, sometimes I can I can actually, like, walk away. Are you going to get in the cart? Teleport? Yeah? Okay, there we go. Um, Sometimes I can actually walk and move, and I, it won't have an effect or anything like that. And other times, if I even touch WASD at all, it, it just totally fucking teleports me right into the vehicle. Okay, we'll go ahead and park right here, and we'll leave our lights on just because we had to hop the curb. Hey, buddy, need me to call you cab or something? Doing okay? Yeah? I think I'll call you a cab. Let's get you out of here, man. Let's get you home. All righty, let's go ahead and uh, make contact with the uh, shopkeeper and figure out what's going on. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Uh, hey officer, thanks for getting back here. That's come back. Just fled the store Had multiple stolen items. Their uh, approximate value is $393. Make sure to lock them up, please. Anytime they are definitely going to be locked up and I will be personally delivering them to the jail. Looks like the taxi is on scene for Mr. Homeless Guy or I mean really whatever whatever his occupation is. Maybe, maybe he's not homeless. Maybe he just likes that sense of fashion. But either way, we are uh, no longer concerned with him. We are going to get this guy back to jail in La Mesa. And actually, I am not entirely sure. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not entirely sure if I'm headed in the right direction to drop him off at the La Mesa jail. I think that I missed the turn and that I did. So let's go ahead and make that turn right now. There we go. See, I'm not the only guy that likes to hop curbs, especially in fire lanes. <laughs> I'm going to just blow through the intersections as well with my lights. Might as well. Might as well. Everybody's being so damn compliant today, and I want to get this guy back as soon as possible so we can get back out on patrol. I really like these skins, you guys. I, I wish that I could have them on the other two vehicles, even though I'm already using these skins in my... Yeah, I'm doing okay. Dispatch, I'm 1015 right now en route to the station. One in custody. Um, But, uh, no, I just... um, I, I really like the skins, and I don't mind the fact that they're in my... They're in my other build right now. I actually would love the, you know, having like the uniform look uh, but not necessarily the uniform lights because I do enjoy red and blues I just kind of went on a blue bender for a little while there so alrighty let's go ahead and drop this guy off it's gonna be I believe this one right here yep that should do it and I think I am gonna go ahead and take him in myself so that way we can run a drugalizer on him I think I searched him already, but I'll search him one more time. I'm fairly certain I didn't find anything of interest. Let's do a ped check on him, too, because I can't remember if I did a ped check or not, and I might as well. I might as well. It sounds like there's gunshots going on or something like that. And there's also a persistent bing, 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 bing thing going on that's really starting to drive me crazy. Let's do the drugalizer real quick and find out what's going on uh, with him, and then we can get out of here. Uh, negative and negative. All righty, buddy. Should not have shoplifted. That's what you get for it, unfortunately. You guys doing okay? I put one and two. Shoplifter. Sounds like there's some serious shit going on out there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to get the hell out of here. And that is going to be the end of that. I'm going to go ahead and go code four and that call out. And uh, that is going to be the end of that, you guys. Let's go ahead and back out. Get back onto our beat. La Mesa is fun. There's a lot of great stuff around here. Good calls spawn in this area. And I'm only two in. But either way... Dispatch 119 is going to be code 4108. Available for calls. Attention all units. We have a driver out of control. Vehicle blasting and mirror 
A vehicle with an insecure load. Hmm. Well, let's go over there and let's bolster the confidence of that load. Uh, reported vehicle is a red motorbike. Hmm. I have never actually seen this call before, you guys, and I am very interested to see where it goes from here. Like, I have absolutely no idea what to expect on this one. I don't even know what callout pack it is from. I think it may be from Taco Callouts. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we're gonna find out what is, uh, what is in store, and I, I believe I see the vehicle right here. Dispatch 119. I have eyes on the vehicle. Uh, let me see here. It looks like he's gonna attempt to center punch. So we're gonna go ahead and just light him up right here, and I- What the fuck is this person doing? What are you do- What are you doing? No, 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 no. Okay, alrighty, hang on. Uh, there's a public safety hazard. You can press Y to call for a contractor to safely pick up bulky items if you decide to do this or to seize the vehicle. Avoid ending the call out or towing the vehicle until all items have been picked up. Okay, now let's go ahead and light him up. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So, we're gonna go ahead and light this guy up. Get him over to the right side of the road, the correct side of the road, and see if I can get him on the shoulder. There we go. That's perfect. Right there. And we're going to hop. Now, I was going to say we're going to hop the curb, but it's actually a driveway. Not even hop the curb this time. And we'll make contact on the passenger side just for officer safety here. Oh, my God, dude. What in the hell do you think you are doing? Uh, license, registration, proof of insurance, and uh, maybe a receipt for that giant package? Marcus, what are you thinking today? Uh, you, uh, d what, what, I was hoping that there were going to be some extra questions. Uh, what are you transporting this evening? I have some items to take down to donate to charity. Okay, why is the load secured in this way? I'm not too worried if they fall off. I'm only throwing them out anyway. What? Why didn't you arrange for a more suitable transport? Well, I didn't want to get my car out of the garage. That is not, that's not an excuse, man. That's not an excuse. You had drinks or drugs today. I don't think so. At least, am I being detained? Um, buddy, go ahead and uh, hang tight for me for just a second. Okay, let's hop back in our car and let's run some information here, you guys, and let's decide what we're gonna do. Guy's being kind of cheeky here, and you know how I like cheeky. I don't, in case you were wondering. He's got a suspended license, so we're gonna be taking him off of the, uh, we're gonna be taking him off the bike then, definitely, and searching it. Uh, everything comes back fine. Stopped four times on the, on the bike, so he has definitely been warned in the past that shit is, um, David. Dispatch, I'm fine. You can cancel checks, actually. I won't, uh, I won't need you to check up on me on this one. I think I'm gonna be code 4 on this. Uh, everything's under control. Let me see here. Alrighty, buddy, go ahead and, uh, step off of the vehicle for me. Uh, or off the bike, rather. And, uh, if you don't mind, uh, if you could also... Let me see here. Can I... I can't stop him, so I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'll use the flashlight. Go ahead and put your hands up. And, uh, if you can, please get down on the ground for me, sir. Uh, nice and easy. Spread your arms out at your sides or in front of you. Doesn't matter to me. Alrighty, you're just gonna put them right there. That works for me. Dispatch, I'm gonna have one in custody right now. Marcus Clifford. Uh, let's just go ahead and verify one more time that Marcus does indeed have a suspended license. And let's bring him over here. Now, I'm supposed to do everything before ending the call out. Uh, just to make sure that, you know, everything is, is kosher and ends fine or whatnot. So, do a quick search. Nothing of interest. Here's the deal, man. Uh, you were asking if you were being detained for drugs and alcohol, uh, possible inebriation. Yes, you are. You're on a traffic stop. You have to answer those questions. There's a implied consent law in the state of San Andreas, so I'm going to go ahead and breathalyze you, and it looks like he is indeed under the influence. Let's find out. Many drugs come back uh, in his system with eyes like that, man. Look at those fucking eyes. Wow, that is... I'm thinking he's got something, and if he hasn't, he has definitely had some stuff in the past. Uh, coming back is negative. Alrighty, bud, go ahead and, uh, stand up for me. Let's get you out of the rain here. You weren't really dressed, uh, for the occasion, so I'm gonna be a nice guy and get you out of the, uh, get you out of the rain. You knock back in there in the back of the vehicle. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll try to take care of, uh, we'll try to take care of this. Let's see here. So... I could theoretically call in a dude to take care of the box uh, and take it to the like the Goodwill or something like that, because he said he said he was just gonna throw them out anyway, so he doesn't care if they fall off. I found a Mr. Fluffles pet collar. Okay, so that's not anything too crazy. Let me call in wine. Let me figure out what this does. Uh, oh, okay. Um, call for pickup of bulky items. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a phone call and I'm gonna role play it like um. 
uh, like I'm calling the actual donation center because some donation centers like Goodwill uh, or any other like Salvation Army, they will actually come out to your residence and they will pick up things. So uh, we're going to go ahead and call for a pickup of the bulky items. And that is just going to be, once again, role play to be as if it's uh, being taken away for charity. Uh, and once that is picked up, which I believe is this vehicle uh, coming up down here, possibly. Or is that a taco truck? Is this my coroner van? What the hell is this? Who's going to come pick up my thing? Is somebody coming to pick up my thing? I don't want to tow the bike until somebody comes down here to pick up the thing. Uh, getting stuck. Press right or Alt-T to warp the pickup operative to their destination. Okay, Alt-T. There we go. I did Alt-T. And nothing has happened. Uh, is it right Alt-T? There. I did right on the D-pad. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, here he is. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. And it actually kind of looks like it's somebody that would come down from, you know, one of those organizations. Hey, so there we go. Hey, man. Thanks for uh, picking up the props. Or the, uh, the, the, the giant pieces of, uh, uh, stuff, I guess. Was, was there more than one thing there? Because it looked like he already took something off the bike there. Yeah, now he's taking the other one. Okay, great. All bulky items have been picked up successfully. Let's go ahead and call in a, um, call in a tow truck for this motorbike and get it out of here. And we will call in prisoner transport while we are at it for Mr. DUI over here. Because he is definitely not driving on a suspended license, especially while under the influence or actually that might be the other way around under the influence especially on a suspended license utility truck is here to pick up the motorbike very very nice i always liked how that is the that's the thing that picks up the uh picks up the bike i wonder if it actually even puts it in the back of the truck or if it just deletes it and then kind of pretends like it put it in the back of the truck that's food for thought right there that's food for thought when you're finished investigating press end to end the call out that i will thank you very much uh, I don't know whose call-out pack that was. Either that was Taco or that was maybe Peter Yu. I'm not entirely sure, but that was a hell of a lot of fun. And it's going to be the end of that one. So Dispatch 119 is going to be code 4108. Available for calls. Assistance required. In the Rockford Hills. Yeah, that's too far out. Dis hey! You fucking rear-ended! Okay, all right. This, this is dragging on too far. Dispatch 119 is going to be code 4108. Available for calls. We've got a possible disturbance. Dispatch 119, responding code 2. I am about a uh, fifth of a mile out, nearly there. Let's go ahead and get down there as quickly and as quietly as we possibly can right now, you guys, because obviously this is a silent alarm. There's a chance that it could be a false alarm, but either way, we want to make sure that we don't give away our presence. Uh, let me see here. So it's going to be this residence right here, I believe. Uh, pursue and detain. Dispatch, I have one running on me. Hey, stop running. Put your hands up. He has a weapon. Weapon. He's got a weapon. Oh, my God. It's an assault rifle. Or it's an SMG. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Uh, and actually, I want to get rid of my reticle. I don't like using my reticle no more. I wish that it would automatically load that. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. I think he's, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Dispatch, I'm going to need a backup unit out here. And I won't be moving in until I get that backup unit closer. When you're finished investigating and have cleared the scene, press end to end the call out. Okay. So we're not pushing in. Uh, well, we're not pushing all the way in until our backup gets here. Because this is just, this is just too much, man. And I don't know if this dude has a friend or not. Because that's happened in the past before. So I get really paranoid in situations like this. Backup's on scene, so we're going to start pushing. We're going to start pushing, and hopefully backup can understand the urgency of the situation. It looks like it's all clear, though. We're going to secure the weapon. Alrighty, got the weapon. And we're going to clear the rest of the residence and just make sure that this is all clear. Alrighty, beautiful, and we will hop the fence. I will jump straight into the fence. I thought I'd be able to vault it, but I guess not. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, let's get back over to the suspect. Uh, dispatch, I am going to need EMS out here if possible. Uh, let me see here. We are going to need to do a search for an ID. Craig Johnson. Uh, Craig John, 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 Johnson. Craig Johnson. Let's find out what comes back on Craig. He was wanted. Alrighty. Well... That'll do it, I suppose. Let's go 
ahead and uh, let's warp the ambulance here, you guys. We don't necessarily need to, but I would like to because... At this point, it's just a waiting game. I mean, and I don't want to just, you know, sit around and wait for these guys to get here. Where the fuck did they even pull up? Where are they? Are they over here? Oh, there they are. Okay. Are they running from all the way over there? Have they even successfully exited the vehicle yet? Yeah, there they are. Okay. Uh, it looked like it warped him for a second there. Yeah, okay. He's uh, he's fine. Dispatch, I'm going to be fine. Um, go ahead and cancel checks. Um... Well, we're just going to have to wait and find out what happens here because this individual is obviously wanted, but I don't want him to not make it. Ah, uh, no. He, yep. I think he got hit in the head. So we're going to wait for, uh, we're going to wait for him to call time of death. And, um, yep. That is the end of that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get a corner out here. And, um, that's going to be that. Holy hell, you guys. Well, Sometimes they just don't have anything to lose and they don't want to go back to jail, I suppose. That's the best that I got. That's the best I can figure out. But as much as I didn't want to pull my weapon today, I had to. And I had to use it, unfortunately. Uh, coroner should be getting here pretty soon. Hopefully. If I push and hold G, maybe they get here a little bit quicker. <laughs> no, it looks like they're going to actually just warp to the exact same spot that they were at the whole entire time. There they are. Coroner's here. Alrighty, they know how to do this. This ain't my first rodeo, and it sure as hell ain't theirs either. So let's hop back into the car. And uh, once I see... Uh, where, uh, did they do it? Did they get the job done? I Oh, there they are. Okay, yeah. yeah. Rain, nor sleet, nor snow, nor hedges, or anything like that will stand in the way of those corners. We're going to let them do their thing, you guys, because like I said, it is not their first rodeo. And uh, we can show ourselves off the scene. Let's get back to La Mesa, because we are way out of our beat here in Mirror Park. So until then, dispatch 119 is going to be code for 108. Available for calls. Attention, all units. Officer needs assistance. Yeah. Dispatch 119 is responding. Code three. We have an officer activated panic button, and you guys know how I feel about those. We have got to get down there as soon as possible. And by the readout on the map, which I know I'm not really supposed to see. Especially in a real life situation, but I see a red dot there and that means shit is going down right now So we have got to get over there as soon as possible. Let's see here I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put on my uh, what is that my phaser? It's not my high low It's the their yelp or something like that. I don't know. I gotta learn the sirens, man I don't know the siren terms very well. Alrighty. It looks like they're gonna be somewhere back there What the fuck are they even doing back there dispatch? You need to get some more units rolling out here ASAP they are in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god, man! They're just fucking him off! I'm gonna have to run one of these guys over here! They took his weapon! Hands up! Hands up! I'm gonna go uh, non-lethal, non-lethal. Here we go! I'm gonna have to pistol whip this one. Hands up! Hands up! Oh my god, I'm gonna get a beat down. I'm gonna get a beat down. Shit! Shit, this was a mistake! Go, 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 go! Oh no! R.I.P. I, I should have gone lethal! I should have gone lethal! No! Well, luckily it looks like nobody else came over, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, take hindsight into account and, uh, go lethal here. Dispatch, I am gonna need- What the fuck is a pizza box doing out here? Like, I saw that when I rolled up. Where'd the other one go? Where'd the other one go? You! Okay, alrighty. Now we have established that I should have gone lethal in that situation. I'm so- And that is- Let's just ignore what the hell just- Oh my god, man. I didn't- was gonna happen though i really did not think that that was gonna happen i thought that it was going to be um like a four to five hit thing but i guess that they can really just do a number on you all right the ems is on scene and they are prioritizing the officer here it looks like I, the other guys i just want to make sure that they don't make it nothing is more annoying than being meleeed to death except being tased repeatedly by the uh anpr uh, person wanted call out. Oh my god, getting just bzz, bzz, tased repeatedly is the worst, man. I'm just happy that these guys were still here and I was able to come back to the scene and, you know, take care of, uh, take care of business. Yeah, I made sure of that. Don't you guys worry. I made sure that they would not be able to get up from that. Yes! Good! Oh my god. Today's patrol, ladies and gentlemen, has a happy ending. We got to kill the criminals on a second chance, and the officer made it. Holy hell. This could have turned out to be something really, really terrible, but it actually looks like it, uh, 
Turn out to be something okay. Turn out to be something just fine. Let's find out if this guy makes it. I don't even know who these individuals are. Uh, let me see here. Can I do a pet check? Yeah, there we go. Let's find out James Morrison and the other individual. Can I catch up to him maybe? Uh, oh, no. They did. They were they're dead. Yeah. Okay. So they're wanted. Uh, I think he just died. I'm pretty sure that he just died. It's it. Yeah, he just died. Okay. Let's find out who uh, Tara Lazo. Tara Tara Lazo. Tara Lazo. What's going on with you, Tara? Uh, you are also wanted. Alrighty, so I guess uh, we did double duty tonight, you guys. We got a couple wanted criminals off of the streets. Let's call in the coroner. And uh, we'll also call in a tow truck for this guy. Yeah, I want to tow this police vehicle. Like I said, though, it's got a happy ending. The uh, the officer made it, and I was kind of worried that, uh, that he wasn't going to make it. So, I mean, I might as well just, you know, whatever. At this point... Now, I'm pretty sure I hit him with the car, too. So, uh, where is the tow truck now? Because I am ready to drive this thing up and park it. Even the EMS, yo. I bet the I bet the officer just paid him money in the, in, the, in the back of the ambulance. Like, straight up, hey, back up over this guy. Pretty please and thank you. All right, let's see here. So, we are going to turn on the traffic advisor. Uh, I don't actually know why I did that, so I'll turn it back off. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's go ahead and get out of the car. And turn the lights off as well. There we go. Let's get out of the car and the tow truck can do its thing. Beautiful. Police vehicle has been impounded. Uh, seems the cause of death was with a firearm. Yep, it was this one right here. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. That's going to do it for today's to patrol. Today's patrol. I don't know why my mouth has not been working well lately. I think I need to like go eat some spinach, get some greens in my diet or something like that. I feel like my feel like my, my food uh, intake is suffering or something like that. Uh, my brain needs a wake-up call. Maybe it's just all the heat that we've gotten recently where I'm from. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, are my lights working right now? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to repair my car. Why? Okay, there we go. Like, what the hell was going on there? That was, that was pretty weird, but... Anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you had fun. I had an absolute blast, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next patrol. So, friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of whatever the hell comes next. I think he fell out, you guys. I think he fell out. I'm going to assume that he fell out. Uh, oh, my God. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys again. We all want to do it. We all want to do it.